what kid doesn't grow up, you know, looking at planes and wondering what it's like to work on and fly on them and stuff like that. There's something fascinating about them. Out of something that big, stay in the air and do what it does. Uh, I wanted to be an AEA, Airborne Electronics Analyst. So I applied for that. Wasn't successful, didn't meet the aptitude and education requirements. And then they said, there's these jobs available and supplier was one of them, so I took that. Just wanted to get my foot in the door. I did enjoy it, but it's not where my heart was. And so I went back to school and I completely redid year 12. And that was challenging, but I got the grades I needed and my application was successful and I haven't looked back since. 99.9% of the time, I'm like, this, it's not really a, a job. I don't see it as work. Uh, just, just going to a place to have some fun with a bunch of cool guys and girls. You can go off and you do the same flight 10 times and 10 times will be completely different. You can go home at night expecting to you know, sit down, have dinner, but then you'll get a phone call. Something's happened, grab your bags, we gotta go. With the Defence Forces, culturally diverse is what we have. Many people from all different backgrounds, all different religions. And it's not surprising, but probably not as surprising as when people find out that I'm Indigenous or I tell them I'm Indigenous. I have an Indigenous mum and an English father and that's, that's, that's amusing to them. And it's amusing to me as well to see their face like. <laughs> I see myself staying as an AEA until I retire. It's a big statement so early on in the career, but I don't see things changing.